A list of foolproof businesses you are guaranteed to succeed with. So, you have your first thousand dollars. Or let's say you have money to spare and want to begin a business, but have no idea where to start. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Welcome to our channel and today we'll present you with 10 businesses to start with $1,000. We've divided our list into two sections, five low risk service businesses and five high risk app or product businesses. So make sure to stay until the end to find out which one's the best option for you. Welcome to Nine Figure Life. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment the hidden message. So let's dive right into the action. Five low risk service businesses. Website design. A website design business can be started from home with a very low investment. Why is website creation profitable though? First of all, there will always be demand for websites. And as new businesses get started and already existing ones want to improve their own, the work can be done from anywhere and allows you to flexibly balance family or personal needs. On top of that, you can expand your business over time by offering complimentary services as you gain expertise. Most designers charge a minimum of $50 per project, which can include a minimum of three pages and additional pages later down the road. Lawn mowing. This business idea has a very low startup cost and can net you very big profits. You can snag a commercial grade professional lawnmower for around $1,000, even less if it's used. Once you start making enough profit, you can reinvest it into your business to buy a truck, a trailer, and additional equipment. But the best part of lawn care is how easy and cheap it is to get started. A good advertising plan, a small investment, and a desire to provide great service is all you need to not only succeed, but also to expand. So, what should you take into account when creating a lawn mowing business? Your location, of course, is extremely important. You might be able to transport yourself to your client's houses, but you will need to be in close proximity to your clientele to cut fuel costs and labor costs associated with ride time. A great location for a landscaping company would be in a warehouse part of town with close access to the interstate. Lawn care and landscaping business owners earned anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000 in their first year, and as much as $160,000 to $250,000 once they were in business a few years. Considering how much you're starting your business with, this sounds like a pretty sound investment in the long term. Cleaning houses. Another good business idea that requires very little startup costs is the house cleaning business. Starting a cleaning business can be really lucrative. There will always be homes that need cleaning, and it's a job people are eager to hand off. Just ask our cleaning industry. Even better news, your upfront investment can be next to nothing especially if you're willing to do a lot of the work yourself. You'll need to buy essential cleaning supplies. The right cleaners, rags, bags, and scrub brushes are the only way you'll be able to get the job done. As with the lawn mowing business, you'll need to start marketing your business to attract the right clientele. However, why houses and not big companies? Residential cleaning, where you're cleaning homes, is an easier business to get into than commercial cleaning. Large cleaning companies dominate the market that cleans office buildings and the like. And cleaning at this scale requires equipment and labor hours that demand a large starting budget. Of course, that doesn't mean that you can't expand your business later down the road and bring it to a large level. However, if you want to invest your first thousand dollars on something easy and profitable, then you might want to give this one a go. Custom photography. So what is custom photography and why is it a profitable business? The photography industry generates $10 billion in annual revenues, and it's growing at a rate of 1.7%. Improving economic conditions and increasing disposable incomes are expected to propel industry growth over the next five years. If you're in the startup phase of your photography business, you need to decide whether you'll be a jack of all trades or specialize in a specific niche. Specialization makes it easier to focus your marketing efforts and can lead to follow-up assignments outside of your niche. Of course, you're going to need a camera if you want to start out. For a custom photographer, you can begin with less than $1,000. Once you start getting a bigger clientele, you might be able to charge a higher amount for your services and reinvest into buying better equipment for yourself. Tech Consulting IT consulting can be a lucrative field. In fact, 
revenues in this industry in the U.S. are projected to reach $471 billion by 2022. It's also a career field that is open to customization and flexibility. There are plenty of different areas you can focus on with your IT consulting business. Whether you choose to offer managed IT services, hardware repair, software consulting, or cloud services. To invest your money, first you need to invest in hardware or software. You'll need a computer, basic office supplies, and probably some insurance in case an emergency should arise. Market your business and then begin to grow it. So the next step to scale your tech consulting business is building a network of companies where you have relationships with key decision makers. Since you have time on your hands, go and meet people, help a few startups, and connect with people at conferences and events. Build your community and you'll see how that $1,000 is spent well on something worthwhile. Now, these businesses don't require as much constant work to provide their service, but also have a higher risk than the previous ones. Let's find out which ones they are. Five high-risk app or product businesses. Amazon FBA. Fulfillment by Amazon is a fantastic way for sellers to ship their products directly to an Amazon warehouse. Amazon will handle the sale, picking the product from inventory, shipping, customer service, and returns. Amazon FBA fees range from $0.45 cents to $1.35 per unit, and $39.99 per month for a professional account. If you love arts and crafts or want to sell your clothes, Amazon FBA can be a great way to start your business and grow it from reinvestments. Mobile Games Most people don't know that mobile game development is an extremely profitable niche if exploited correctly. Don't believe us? Then let's take a look at the facts. The top 200 apps generate on average $82,500 daily, while the top 800 apps generate around $3,500. Candy Crush series of mobile games collectively made more than $1.5 billion in revenue from microtransactions in 2018 across iOS and Android. That works out to a staggering $4.2 million US dollars spent per day on average. Of course, Developing a high-quality mobile app will require a lot of money. But if you start with only $1,000, you can begin creating a small mobile game with microtransactions and grow your business from there and onwards. Also, you need to take into account marketing costs and promoting the app so it reaches the right audience. But if the game is well made, then everyone will love it. Subscription Business Subscription business models are based on the idea of selling a product or service to receive monthly or yearly recurring subscription revenue. There are many types of subscription businesses, and all of them make money differently, though all have in common that they offer a service catered to a specific niche to generate their revenue. For example, magazines, newspapers, or even entertainment streaming services like Disney+, Netflix, and Spotify are great examples of subscription businesses. Kickstarter project. Kickstarter has allowed many businesses to become a reality, and yours could be a great example. Kickstarter is full of ambitious, innovative, and imaginative ideas that are brought to life through the direct support of others. Everything on Kickstarter must be a project with a clear goal, like making an album, a book, or a work of art. Start your business idea with $1,000. Invest in marketing, pictures, or video of the final product, and see how people will begin backing your product. Instagram clothing line. An Instagram clothing line is a great way to spend $1,000 and begin growing your profits. Spend part of the money manufacturing the first release or drop of your items. If you have a background in graphic design, this could be a great way to bring your designs out there. You'll need to post high quality photos of the product, use the right hashtags, and probably reach out to influencers. If you have a friend with a lot of followers, also contact them and ask them for a favor. Most people won't hesitate to do so, especially if the brand quality is high. So, what do you think of these business ideas? Will you be spending your next $1,000 to start one of these? Let us know in the comments.